guys, Lika here for Peak Survival. Let's imagine you've been hiking, snowshoeing, or even cross-country skiing. You've been lost for a few hours and uh, you're getting that insatiable thirst and there's snow everywhere. And it's really easy to just turn to it as a source of water. Now, in small amounts, this isn't the end of the world, but it becomes a severe problem when you just start consuming way too much snow. You'll get some sores and uh, the worst part is that because snow is 70 parts air and one part water, your body is using a lot of energy to melt the snow to turn it into a little bit of water. Now, um, in an, you want to stay hydrated because you want to be really efficient and be able to build your fire and your shelter and survive. But um, I highly recommend if you can find icicles like dangling off of trees. Now icicles, it takes 50% less energy to consume them. So if you can find icicles, that's much better than consuming snow, obviously, unless you can boil it. Now, if you can boil it, you can do that. Um, now there are, there's some ice here along the stream and uh, we just don't know what kind of pathogens are in this ice and the water is still running over there and you might be tempted to consume it but it's really imperative that if you have a filtration device that you use it and uh, we've done some videos already on the importance of uh, filtering water and uh, why you should filter water so you can definitely check those out for more information but we have a really exciting video coming really quickly about how you can consume water um, uh, if you don't have a stove and uh, so that's coming in a few minutes definitely stay tuned for those if you have any questions or comments write them below and to our new subscribers welcome to peak survival